Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here, and welcome back. Today is March 23rd of 2020, and uh, we've got a lot to go through today, but we're going to do it very quickly. Um, before we jump into numbers and such, I'm looking at the TV. Uh, stock market's down about 460 right now. Um, Governor Cuomo is on TV talking about uh, relief efforts and everything he's doing in New York, and we are waiting for Congress to release some sort of a or to vote on a, on a bill, but that's a whole nother story. We talk about more of that later on. All right, so so looking at the crypto market, um, the uh, Bitcoin's at 61.77, Ethereum's at 129, XRP's at 15 cents, and I don't know. Let's see what the flows look like. Yeah, well, 15 and a half cents on uh, on Fiat Leak, and and I don't, I don't see a tremendous amount of volume going on right now. Um, other numbers I want to talk about, and and there's no escaping this guy, so so let's not even let's not even bother to try. Um, this is the map of the current health event, and what I wanted to, you know, and this is not a gloom and doom video, so 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 this is just we're going to talk about you know the facts, and um, uh, and 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 then we'll we'll kind of go from there. But this is the chart. Oh wow, they were okay. So they used to have. They used to have on this chart the um, um, the charting of China, and then uh, and then they had the charting of the rest of the world. Well, it looks like they removed China from this chart now. So this is this is, I believe, all of the countries excluding China right now, um, new cases um, and and how they're charting. So that that's what that chart is. And obviously, this is not what we're looking for. We need this thing to flatten out. Um, I, I expect numbers to go through the roof in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I think that the United States is probably going to overtake Italy by tomorrow. Uh, and the only reason why I say that is because all those tests are going to start coming back. We've done a record amount of tests in the United States, and they're all going to start coming back. And uh, and I think that we're going to see the United States jump over Italy and 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 potentially, eventually, go past China. In, in the number of cases, but that's assuming that China is even being honest with their numbers, which we don't even know. Um, anyway, so enough on that. We may touch on it again, uh, but uh, enough on that for now. If uh, oh, by the way, if if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I mean, uh, it, it, you know, it's 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 the best way to get these to you is to subscribe, and they'll pop up on your YouTube, and I appreciate it. Um, but please do subscribe. Also, I'm telling you. Unless you hate your money, you need to subscribe to Cryptopolis. And if you don't subscribe to Cryptopolis, you obviously do hate your money. You have to subscribe to him. Um, he's doing a live stream right now. He's wrapping it up, and I was watching it. Cryptopolis is, um, you know, there's a lot of self-proclaimed experts in the XRP community, um, none of which do we know any of their credentials, okay? I mean, there's, there's a lot of people out there. And you don't know who they are and what they do. I can tell you that Cryptopolis is a 40-year veteran of of markets in the United States and uh, uh, in investment markets in the stock market. Um, he creates uh, uh, analytical uh, algorithms. I mean, this guy, he's the man. I'm just telling you right now. Follow him on Twitter. Watch his videos. You will learn. You, you will learn a lot from Cryptopolis. So uh, I'm I'm just beating that drum, guys. You need to follow Cryptopolis. Anyway, so he um he's got quite a bit going on here today. Uh, this is something that he had posted today. Uh, Fed actions today: 40 billion of mortgage uh, purchases, 75 billion of treasury purchases, four trillion of liquidity to uh, liquidity to banks and money markets, uh, money market fund support. Heads up, you know. Just about 10 days ago, we saw all those bankers sitting around the table with, with President Trump, and they were telling um, President Trump that they had liquidity, and they were telling President Trump that they were here to help the American people. Well, obviously, they don't have the liquidity, or if they do, um, they're surely not, not spending their own money. They're taking more money from the government. Um, and the other thing is, are they helping the American people? I really don't know. I mean, you know, they're... the, the there's so much going on here, guys. I mean, the printing and giving away of money, I don't think is the answer here. You know, one of the greatest business principles I learned early on being in business is you can't throw money at a problem. You have to solve the problem. And the Fed just, my wife asked me last night as we're going to bed, where's all this money coming from? And I told her they're just making it up. They're, they're just printing it. It's not real. And the problem is the debt is real, though. The the <laughs> It, this is insanity. They, they would be, and, and and three weeks ago, it's 
probably three weeks ago, when I first heard that Italy had frozen 60 million mortgage payments, that sounded absurd to me. Suddenly, three weeks later, it sounds like the best case, the, the best idea out there because if they freeze mortgages, then, then the government won't have to print all this fake money and hand it out. Um, and and even, if they, even if they put the interest on the back end, it's just people are not going to have the money to pay their mortgages. And for the ultra-conservative people out there that say they should have saved more money and been able to hand a, to handle a situation like this, well, guess what? You know, you're in the crosshairs too because if these people don't find a solution to, to get past this rough time um, and they start losing their houses like it's going to happen, um, the value of your house is going to go down as well. So don't be so quick to point fingers and, and attack people because it's it's going to get everyone. There's no escaping this thing. When, when, when I hear them talking about 30% uh, unemployment, I think that's being incredibly conservative because I can't imagine that in the next three to four weeks that 70% of the United States is actually working. I, I just don't see it. Now, hopefully we're going to we're going to get this thing under control. We're going to flatten out the, the rate, and, and we're going to pull through this thing in the next couple of months, and, and that's what we need to hope for. Um, but uh, let me see here. So I've got some, I got some notes here. Uh, another, another topic on financing. I'm a real estate broker, and every day my lender is telling me you know, more and more loans that they can't do. They can't do jumbos. They can't do non-conforming. Non-conforming is people that don't have the best uh, um, um, credit. Uh, anybody that's been sent home from their job, they're not getting you know new mortgages. If they're ready in the hopper to get closed, their deals are not closing. Um, it, the mortgage companies are are looking for every reason to not do deals right now. So don't be fooled. Don't think that rates are low and it's a great time. Th they don't necessarily want to do mortgages, and that's why they jacked up the rates from 3.7 to 4.7 because they were overwhelmed with applications. So um, keep your keep your eyes on that. Another thing that Cryptopolis had mentioned in his um, live stream today, which now listen guys, this is his opinion. This is not uh, financial advice, but uh, but 40 year veteran of the markets and, and, and I'm, I'm blown away when he said these numbers. So I just let you know, I lost my breath when I heard him say it, okay? Cryptopolis had said that he expects the um, stock market to go down to less than 5,000 in the next two years. Um, I think he's figuring it's going to go down to about 15, it's going to bounce back up, and then it's going to slam back down. He's looking at the 1929-1932 uh, crash as, as, um, as the guide of what's going to happen. Now here's the most staggering statistic he gave out that I'm going to have a hard time even saying, is he expects our, our national debt to go from 23 trillion to a hundred trillion, and I can't even, I can't even, I can't even fathom it. I, I can't even fathom. It. I'm not disagreeing with him, but man, that's just too much to take. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just too much to take. Okay, so so this tweet, I posted this tweet, uh, and I actually did it uh, yesterday. Why isn't anyone on TV calling for emergency regulations so banks can free up their five to 27 trillion in Nostro money and offer the world? inexpensive money transfers. Banks certainly need money and people need fast, cheap, and dependable, mo dependable money transfers right now. And I tagged um, uh, Representative Darren Soto, who was doing the Token Taxonomy Act. Um, I, I tagged XRP and I tagged Ripple. And my point is this, look, why is, why is Brad Garlinghouse not on TV? Why is he not on CNBC saying, hey, listen, you know, we've got a way for banks to bring home money. We have a way for people to be able to transfer money to their loved ones around the world. Why? I mean, I know I know Brad's in a bunker somewhere, but he could certainly get on TV via Skype um, or even David. I mean, nobody's out there preaching the benefits of XRP and Ripple. So here's what that makes me think. And 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 listen, I'm I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I have not yet bought into the price fixing that we're hearing. A lot of people believe that the price is going to be fixed on XRP. A lot of people around me believe that. A lot of people in the community believe that. I'm not 100% on board on that particular thing, um, but uh, but I'm open to all conversations, and certainly it's on the table until it's off the table. Um, but my point is, if Ripple isn't out there talking about their solution for liquidity, and their solution for, for helping you know the, the people who need to transfer money and for helping the banks bring home their money, then what are we to think? Are we to think that 
that is this cake just baked? I mean, is this cake actually baked and we're just waiting for the announcement, which is what we've all been thinking for so long? Guys, I don't know the answer to this question. I mean, I'm asking the question. In fact, I asked the question for you guys to post in the comments. It, why is Ripple not on TV right now? Why is Brad Garlinghouse not on TV right now? Why are they not talking about helping these banks take home their money and calling for regulators to pass regulations? I don't understand it. Um, I know that they're doing great things over there. I know that they have the best intentions. I know they're going to do everything they said they're going to do. I have lost, I have, I have zero doubt. I have lost no faith in Ripple. I'm only asking the question because I actually think it might be good news. I think it might be good news because I think the cake might be baked. Um, but, uh, but that's my opinion. I want your opinion. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Okay, jump in. Moving forward. Um, Cryptopolis, as I said, is doing a live stream. So be sure that you guys jump over there and see what he did on his live stream today. And I did this this morning, and it looks like it's getting a lot of traction. I posted this. Bankers are officially a protected species. Bitcoin maximalists just don't get that. Guys, I mean, you know, anybody that thinks bankers are going to go away, uh, they're just anarchists. They're out of their minds. It's not going to happen. And, and countries are not going to get rid of their fiat currency. So, you know, this should be opening up everyone's eyes, all these bailouts for the banks. The banks are winning right now. We're not winning. We're losing. The banks are winning right now. Now, we can win, and we're going to talk about winning at the end of this video because winning is what this is all about. We need to win, okay? Um, Charles um, Hotskinson had posted this from 60 Minutes last night. Let's give it a quick look. A Hang on. Let me get the audio going on this thing. Your banks are safe. Let's see. You don't need to. Your ATM is safe. Your banks are safe. There's enough cash in the financial system, and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. An infinite amount of money. You know, there isn't anyone that's listening to the sound of my voice that believes that. Okay. Now, I'm sure you all believe that they'll keep printing the money, but 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 what comes with that is unbelievable. So so what's happening here is insanity, absolute insanity. Um, Julia Chatterley had posted this, and I think this is very important. And, and it's going back to the current um, the current crisis. In fact, you know what? I'm not even going to play the video. You guys can go to Julia Chatterley on Twitter to watch the video. I'm just going to tell you what's in it. In the video, um, uh, Iceland had tested a hundred percent of their population for the current event. Okay, of all the people that came up positive. 50% of those people showed, um, showed uh, no um, um, symptoms of it, okay? So 50% of them had, were, I guess they call it asymptomatic, had no symptoms. Now, here's the bad news, though, is those people are out transferring it to other people. But my point is 50% felt nothing. So, so interesting data, um, but you might want to check that out. Uh, back to Michael B. So everyone, if, if you hadn't heard, Michael B. is a um, uh, is a gentleman in the XRP community. He's been here since I've been here. He's been here since the beginning, I think. Uh, let's see, how long has he been here? Um, I don't see the date. I don't want to click on it because I'm going to lose this. Um, but Rob Licker, and thank you to Rob Licker. Thank you, thank you to Rob Licker. Rob Licker, everybody needs to follow Rob Licker. He is on um, he is on Twitter. He is a gentleman. He's a good guy. I talk to him all the time. And thank you, Rob Licker, for making this, uh, for putting together this GoFundMe for Michael. Michael has cancer. Um, his wife, Patty, uh, is also on Twitter, and they're both XRP investors. And and, and I, I apologize to Michael and Patty if I get this story wrong, um, but but I'm going to tell what I, what I think I know to be true. And I think Patty not only lost her dog this year, she lost both of her parents this year. And we do not want to see, we want to see Michael get better. So anybody that can help, if you can donate, please donate. Um, I'm so, I'm so happy to see that they've, they've, uh, they've already amassed uh, $7,700 on GoFundMe. PayPal is $2,600 and 3,000 XRP. So, um, uh, I, and, and I feel horrible. I, I had the opportunity to have to have breakfast with Michael a couple of weeks ago, and I wasn't able to make it. and And I apologize. And man, I promise you, the next time that uh, that you and I get together, we're going to have breakfast and we're going to celebrate you getting better. So, so my best to Michael. Um, let me see here. So, what else do I have on my list here? 
I always make a little list of things to go through. Okay, so oh, um, I have a I have a cousin who owns a bar uh, restaurant in New York, and uh, he's doing everything he can to stay in business by doing deliveries and takeout. Um, and I talked to him yesterday, and I said to him, I heard that 75% of the bars and the restaurants in New York, uh, spe specifically New York City, will never reopen after this. And and he told me it's way higher than that. He said. Bars and restaurants in New York City can't afford to have a bad day, let alone a bad week or a bad month. He said they'll never be able to catch up. The majority of them will never, ever, ever reopen. So that's a really, really sad thing, and a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Um, so anyway, look, we just talked about a lot of negative things, okay? Uh, but but here's what I want you to understand, you know, and, and I'm going to go back to this fact thing that I talked about last week. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. So here's the thing. My daughter was watching her pastor um, on and, and via Facebook Live yesterday do his sermon. And what was really cool was she was able to shoot it onto our big screen TV, which was really cool. And and my wife and I sat down and watched it with her. And and my daughter's pastor and 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 I guess I should say he's my pastor too because you know I go see him speak and I think he's amazing and 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 he's a friend of mine. He's he's a superb guy. He did a talk yesterday. That was absolutely fantastic, and it was about framing your mind. And uh, essentially, he had a picture, a dark picture, a dark, dark picture of, of, of a forest. But there was a stream of light in, in the forest, and he would take this little frame and put it on the dark part and say, if you frame your mind here, this is what you're going to get. And then he would put the little frame on the light part, and he said, if you'd frame your mind in the light, this is what you're going to get. And, and the point was that, you know, there's a lot going on right now, guys. I mean, there is a lot going on right now. But what you have to do is you have to be happy, and, and, I'm, and I'm quoting him, you have to be happy for the things that, that, that you do have, and you have to be happy for what, what hasn't happened to you. So if you don't have the current event, you have to be happy you don't have it. If you have it and you haven't died from it, you have to be happy that you haven't died from it. I mean, you have to constantly stay on the positive side of life because you could get sucked into the abyss of negativity. So I challenge everybody to take out a piece of paper, take out a pen, draw up a plan, draw up your worst case scenario, draw up what you're going to do. Are you going to call your mortgage company today? Are you going to ask them for forbearance? Are you going to ask them to put your payment on the back end? And hopefully when Congress passes this bill this week, that they're, you're not even going to have to make that call. But, but you need to think about what you're going to do. Um, now, I know... I know my mortgage. Now, I can't say your mortgage, all right? So you need to look at the specific terms of your mortgage, but I am in the real estate business, so I do think I, I'm, I, I stand as, as someone to talk about this. Um, my mortgage, I always pay by the first of the month, and I always pay it early because I'm OCD, and it's like it's the way I like to do it. However, it's not late until the 15th. So um, I may, and I probably will, not pay it until right before the 15th, just in case anything changes with my mortgage company's expectation of how I'm going to pay them. Now, I would encourage everybody to take a look at that, take a look at your particular situation, and this is a time to not pay people until you have to, okay, because feeding your family is the most important thing to do, okay? Now, back to, back to what the pastor was saying about framing your mind in the positive. Frame your mind in the positive, and and you know he said, uh, um, you know he said, look, you know at the end of the day, a vulture's job every day is to go seek out death because that's their life. They go seek out darkness and death every day, and they look for dead things to eat. But a hummingbird goes out every day looking for nectar. So I challenge everybody: think positive, make a plan find the nectar, find how you're going to get through this and how you're going to end up at some point better off at the end. And I know it's not easy, but but I want you guys to know that 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 people will end up better off after this is over and you need to be one of those people. Um, so so give a thought to, to the things I've said. I, I'm thankful that everybody here is listening to me and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I am not a financial advisor. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a truck driver, but I'm here to tell you that the truck drivers of the world are some of the biggest heroes out there because they're delivering food right now to all our grocery stores. So if you're a truck driver out there, 
tell me in the comment section below because I know we have a couple out there you told me you are and I want to thank you all for everything that you do because that's a tough ass job okay uh, I'm not a crypto expert either these are my opinions only don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say this video is intended for educational and entertainment, pur entertainment purposes only please like please subscribe please hit that notifications button it's that little bell right right there right there on your phone it's that little bell thank you for clicking that little bell um, and pass on my videos to anybody who you think might appreciate them. Everybody have a great day. Protect your family. Be safe and be well. Thank you all. Bye-bye.